Today I'm going to give you a professional tip slash technique when it comes to removing blemishes, especially for beauty retouching. Now, I'm going to warn you up front. This is a kind of technique which you would apply when you have a lot of time with just one image. This is not for your regular wedding photos. Of course, when you have one important photo, very important photo of the bride or you're photographing a model, then you can apply this. But for regular wedding, wedding photos, when you have 100 or 200 images to edit, it's not for that. The tip is very fast, but the execution of it, that's what takes time. So without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are in Photoshop and if you want to follow along using this photo, make sure to go ahead and download that using the links in the description. So first off, it's really simple. Let's zoom in and have a look. We do have particular blemishes here and there, but they're not so much visible. All the blemishes are not visible. So here's what I needed to do. Create a new black and white adjustment layer. Click on the adjustment layer icon and choose my taskbar, stupid taskbar. Let's choose black and white, black, white, and take down the reds all the way to the left. Depending upon the skin tone of your image, if it's a dark skin tone, you might not have to take it all the way to the left, but if it's a light skin tone, then you can take it, I guess, all the way to the left. Now, do not show this to the model. As you can see, all the blemishes have been clearly visible, very clearly. Now, for super safety, you can take blue all the way up. Sometimes it does help, and you can play with the yellows. Make it a little lighter. Okay, there we go, and play with the rest. Reds. Now. All the blemishes are now visible. Now, if you remove the blemishes here, and when you turn this off, all the blemishes will be removed and the skin will look super good, okay? Now, let's just turn this on. I'm sorry about the background noise. Let's just turn this on and create a new layer in between both of these, the black and white and the background. At this point, if you create a new layer, the new layer creates above it, and then you have to move it. Let me give you a tip. When this is selected, you can hold the black and white when this is selected, you can hold the control or command and then you when you create a new layer, the new layer creates below the selected layer. So that's a tip you can use. Hold the controller command, click on the new layer icon, it creates a new layer below the selected layer. Now in this layer, you can name this blemishes, just double click on the text of the layer and name it blemishes, just type it in there and you can choose the healing brush tool and let's just zoom in. And you know how to use the healing brush tool, right? Let's just zoom in and then make sure normal mode is selected. Current and below selected. This is very important. If you just have current selected and if you try to just remove it, it won't remove because it samples from the current layer. Look, sample from, it just didn't write for, from, but you get the idea. Sample from current layer. But the current layer is completely empty. It doesn't have anything. If I just make it solo by holding the Alt or Option, clicking on in here, See, it doesn't have anything, so it ha has nothing to sample from. Let's turn all of them on. So make sure current and below is checked. We also don't want to take the black and white into consideration. So we'll sample from the current layer, which doesn't have anything, and the layer which is below it, which is the background layer, which is fine. Okay, that's what we want. Now, hold the alter option and click on the place where you want to sample from, where you want to copy stuff from, and click on in there and paint on the areas where you want to paste stuff on, okay? Just paint on that and that should be fine. Now here's one more tip. When you're using the healing brush tool, the preview that's inside the brush, as you can see, as I sample from here, you can see the preview right inside the brush. That preview should be in color. If the preview is in black and white, you have a problem. Either you have selected maybe all layers or something is wrong, okay? If you select all layers, then the preview will be in gray. Which, which is something you don't want. You don't want to consider the black and white inside of the healing brush. You don't want to do that. So make sure current and below is checked and then work with it. Before we actually move into retouching, it is important for us to understand the concept of how it is actually working because that's more important than the technique. Okay? Because no matter what software you use in future, if you know the concepts, you'll be able to do anything you want. Okay? Let's just turn this off and let us understand how all of this is working. I'll create a new layer with a solid color adjustment layer and maybe just create a new layer and fill it with white, okay? So just click on the new layer button and I'll just fill it with white. Okay, let's fill this, Alt Backspace, and then let's take the brush and I'll just 
paint it with a skin color okay just like this so this is just like your skin I think the skin is a little lighter right so I'll just go back Control alt z command option z if you're using a Mac let's choose a skin color so I'll go a little red ish and choose a skin color just like this lighter skin color click okay then take the brush and let's just make and fake a skin so suppose this is your skin right and we have the blemishes let's make some blemishes okay just like this okay it's probably of this color just light something like that click okay and then when you make the blemishes let's just make it a little smaller and then make some blemishes with the brush just like this these are like your blemishes now some blemishes are light let's just sample this color some blemishes are light but they are a little red ish so let's just select this color just paint on this just like that now create a black and white adjustment layer as we already did let's go ahead and create that to see what actually happens black and white there we go black white and decrease the reds now when you decrease the reds have a look they become more and more visible okay have a look very easy to identify as it was in normal mode so why do they become more visible it is because the blemishes are closer to red and when you decrease the red inside of the black and white adjustment layer what it's actually doing is that it's decreasing the luminosity or the brightness of just the reds and the blemishes are red so when you decrease it blemishes go darker easier to identify so let's go ahead and delete both of these we don't need this just for demonstration and turn all of this on there you go there you go okay now let's zoom in and let's have inspect this and let's explore the ways we can remove the blemishes just so just select the blemishes adjustment layer and with the healing brush too you can just remove the blemishes like that you can also use the clone stamp tool when the healing brush tool doesn't work i have a dedicated video just on the clone stamp tool you can check that out right there but when you do select the clone stamp tool in this case do make sure current and below is checked keep that in mind and if you do not select current and below if you choose all layers and if you just try to clone stuff like that when you turn off black and white see what's happening it's taking black and white into consideration so current and below let's go back Control alt z command option z to go back let's turn black and white layer on and let's go back to the healing brush tool in case in case if you want to use the spot healing brush tool you can choose spot healing brush tool and in that case too you can check sample or less it doesn't have an option of current and below but it doesn't consider black and white as well so you don't have to worry about it and by the way why would you use the spot healing brush tool when you're doing beauty retouching you have to be careful about the skin texture okay spot healing brush tool kind of smudges stuff and you can do that just spot healing brush tool you don't have to sample an area just dab 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 and it takes care of every blemish but it, have a look it just smudged it look here it just removed the skin texture so you don't want to use spot healing brush tool when you're doing beauty retouching so healing brush tool for this area we want this skin texture so we'll sample from there by holding the alter option clicking on in here look at the preview just match it line it up and just paint in that area that's the way to do it and again I think there's an insect there Let's remove it anyway so another way another very interesting way is using the patch tool now the patch tool has one demerit it's that it cannot work on its own layer patch tool requires a copy let me show you how to use the patch tool let's delete the blemishes and create a copy of the background layer control or command J now you can name this blemishes but I'm just gonna leave it at that let's zoom in now how to use the patch tool I'm going to show you a tip which is really really interesting select the patch tool by right clicking on here and choose the patch tool as <laughs> simple as that now once you select the patch tool here's the tip let's zoom in here you have a lot of blemishes right all you have to do just select one blemish okay then hold the shift key then the cursor changes to the patch tool cursor with the plus sign okay sample another one sample another one like that sample another one sample this one sample this one sample the close ones okay we selected a little bit more too much so sample probably this one probably this one and move all of them in the direction where there is no blemish okay so take the cursor inside any one of them and this is magic 
move it to the place where there is no blemish for all of them and release it. Gone. All of them gone. Now press Ctrl or Command D. Have a look. So this is the before, this is after. Gone in seconds. Now, once you're done with removing all the blemishes, you can just turn this black and white layer off and you're pretty much good to go. Right? So we probably use the healing brush tool. We prefer that. Why we prefer that? Let's just take it out. The patch tool is also great. Some professionals use the patch tool because it allows you to really clearly, very nicely remove the blemishes. At the same time, it is very fast. You don't have to sample that again and again, sample from this area, that area, it's fast. At the same time, it does a very good result. It gives you a very good result. Okay. Let's go ahead and delete this and let's create a new blank layer just for the blemishes and if you choose the healing brush tool and then you do it the blemishes are on its own layer so if you see here if i press and hold alter option click on in here see it's on its own layer now if i do anything wrong here's the advantage of this if i do something wrong do something crazy like that you can always take the eraser and erase that and do it all over again as easy as a pie very simple, right? So that's the way to do it. And I'm not going to traumatize you by keeping you up through the whole process of blemish removal. It's kind of pathetic. So here's the final before. the black and white adjustment layer after you have removed the blemishes. I hope this video was helpful and if this was, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe, ring the bell so that you my friend don't miss any of the future tips, tricks and tutorials anytime. It will be notified to you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating. Thank you again.